where were you at roughly monthly before joining AIA and then where are you at now revenue wise? This month I spent 1500 I'm already at 10000 So All right. We are here with my client Valentino from Authority Income Accelerator. Valentino, welcome to uh, the show. Would you mind giving a quick intro of who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Justin, for, uh, for having me here. Pleasure to be here. Uh, so I'm a mindset coach for uh, young kids, uh, specifically uh, between 10 and 18. Uh, I help them overcome fears, um, fear of failure and mistakes on the field in, uh, in 90 days. So I've been a coach for uh, 10 years. Uh, I've been playing soccer for over 30 years. I'm 35. So yeah, um, love what nice I do and uh, helping kids. Nice, nice. And I'm curious if you wouldn't mind sharing um, some of where what was it like before you were um, started working with us and like what was the end result since you've been working with us inside AIA? Yes, when I started working with you guys uh, uh, with AIA, I was doing mostly uh, group calls and low ticket offer. I wasn't doing any high ticket program um, and I was really non-consistent. Um, so I was getting some clients but not on a consistent uh, uh, basis. And since I joined AIA, in three months, I was able to quit my job. So, <laughs> yeah. That's exciting, man. Can, congrats on the job. Is that kind of like your goal with like joining our program is like you wanted to get consistency so you could uh, quit your job? Yeah, that was the goal. Nice. Yeah, I, because I was coaching, you know, as a, you know, uh, my passion is coaching and helping kids. So I wanted to make it a full time business and I was trying to find ways to, to do that. And on, on the other side, you know, I, would, I had to keep my my day job until, you know, find some success. So I, after just three months, I was able to do that. So pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Nice, man. Yeah, I know um, Joe messaged me because I think you hit him up. You're like, dude, I just quit my job. And I think you guys talked about that originally on like your enrollment call was like, hey, like that's one of the biggest goals is to be able to do this full time. And I'm glad that we were able to help you out with that, man, because, you know, one of the things that really helps me or that gets me by every day is like, you know, knowing people like yourself out there that you're making a big impact in the world and like you're making a huge impact in the world because you're helping younger kids develop these type of skill sets at a younger age than, you know, for me, like I didn't get into any of this until I was like 23, 24 years old. So, you know, um, I'm curious, like, how did you, how did you get into this space? Was it just like, Hey, I love soccer. I like coaching. Like, how did that happen? So yeah, growing up, I was struggling with, uh, with confidence and, um, I was, I was a good player, but still I would shut down after a mistake. I would, uh, really freeze in games. I was like, no, don't pass the ball to me. You know, that kind of mentality. And then growing up, I just, you know, I, I wanted to learn how to become more confident. I had a coach that believed in me and, uh, you know, so I, I really wanted to do something, um, impact kids, you know, because I didn't want them to experience what I was experiencing. But originally it was coaching kids on the field and then I had a mentor that um, basically told me, why don't you implement also the mindset part and you can do uh, training on the field, but also um, a Zoom call where you can talk about mindset, believing in yourself, setting goals, all those things. I was seeing that the best results that my players were having were the one that I was doing mindset with. So I decided to to really do this and, you know, launch a program just for mindset because I believe that, you know, there's a lot of coaches that do one-on-one -on -one training on the field. I, I think the biggest impact is, you know, let them know that they can, you know, let them believe in themselves and let them know that they can do so much more. Yeah, I agree 100%, man. Kudos to you on that. Now, going over some of your success inside AIA, talk to me a little bit about it. Like, where were you at roughly monthly before joining AIA? And then where are you at now roughly monthly inside revenue-wise? Yeah, I was doing uh, some months, like 2,000, 3,000, uh, 1,000, really not consistent. And the first month in AIA, I think I made 12,000, 12, uh, yeah, 12,500. Second month, uh, a little slower, nine thousand, um, and then this month I'm already uh, over ten thousand with a with a week left and uh, you know a bunch of calls left. So <laughs> nice, man, nice. And I think the biggest thing for you is just like as you mentioned the consistency side behind it because a lot of coaches come to us and they're in the same positions like they they have the organic going, they have referrals going, but they don't have the consistency. And I've noticed with you. Um, your your return on your ads are amazing because you're posting inside the you're posting inside the chat like almost every day closing these deals. 
Um, but how, how big of an impact was that for you to be able to like really understand like the KPI aspect of what we teach and being able to see, Hey, when I put $1 in, I'm not sure off the top of my head what you're getting, but I think you're getting about like a four to five, maybe even more than that X return each, every single time you spend a dollar. Yeah. So this month I, I think I spent, uh, so far 1500, I'm already at 10,000. So more than, uh, than five to one. So that's the best part to me, uh, because you know, I can really, uh, make decision based on the data rather than making decision based on uh, freaking out on it, <laughs> on emotions. So when I see my cost per message, my cost per close and, and everything, I can make better decisions. So it's really tracking your KPIs has been the, really the game changer. For sure. For sure. Yeah. One of the big things, and I'm sure you pick this up now, is make decisions based off of logic rather than emotion. And I think that's where the KPI tracker and being able to see that really cleans up um, a lot of the stuff. So I'm also curious, man, you know, um, there's a lot of other programs out there. Why did you decide to go with us compared to someone else? Because I'm sure you probably talked to other people at some point, if not around the same time. Like what, what was it about AIA that um, wanted you to join? I think uh, the page optimization, like I saw how legit was the page, you know, the post and everything, uh, you know, other guys that I that I talked to, like even the process of getting on a call, confirming the call and, you know, everything was smooth and uh, very professional. Um, so that's a big part of it. You know, when you, when you invest a, a good amount of money, you know, you want to go with the, with the most legit and, you know, obviously the testimonials plays a big, uh, big impact. And um, that's how I, I picked you guys. I appreciate that, man. And just so I have context in the viewers as well, were yeah. you ever running ads before um, working with AIA? No, I had a, um, I had a guy that helped me with the, with the ads and I was getting messages, but low, you know, the, the quality of the messages were, um, the people coming in weren't good because my page wasn't optimized. And, uh, also my post, you know, my video or whatever, whatever the ad was, wasn't great. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's, it's important to really like make your ads, like change, you know, make a video specific, you know, we want to call the target out audience and everything. So yeah, I did ads before with, with no success. So <laughs> probably a lot of people went the same route. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people come to us like that for everyone watching our process of setting up the ads and like teaching you how to implement it. Um, how would you say that was hard, simple, easy? Um, give us some data and some feedback on that. It was very easy. I mean, once you once you watch the videos that are inside the uh, the program and uh, the, the customer uh, success um, person helps you set the the ads the first time, and then it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And yeah, to be honest, I like to hear that because that's our whole philosophy inside businesses: simple scales, complex fails. And I know. A lot of other programs, like when they try to teach you to do ads, they show you how to do everything with ads. And we've made it a point to just be like, hey, just follow this exact SOP. And, you know, here we are now, you're getting a eight, nine X return on ad spend. So I'm happy to hear that, man. For anyone that's, you know, on the fence or considering joining AIA, you know, put yourself in your shoes, what, three, four months ago before you hopped on that call with us, what would you say to someone that's kind of considering it or doesn't really know if it's the right investment for them? I would say I I wasn't in a position to drop that kind of uh, investment, but I I took a leap of faith as I was telling Joe and he he told me like, watch in two, three months, uh, I'm going to say to you, I told you so. So, you know, if you're on the fence, uh, definitely do it because, uh, you know, definitely changed my life. So um, we're really grateful for it. Cool, man. And I'm, I'm beyond grateful to have you a part of the AIA family, which is onwards and upwards from here. So that being said, is there anything else you want to say before we hop off on this, uh, this interview? No, again, if you're on the fence, please join. <laughs> cool. Thank you, sir.